it's hard raising kids today in New York City with all the crime rates, all the gangs, all the drugs. This is a very dangerous neighborhood. I mean, there are three major gangs that live in the neighborhood right outside our front doors here. You have to have a safe environment, and, and that's what this building is. It's a safe, affordable house for grandparents raising their grandchildren. This is considered a low-income housing complex. The average income is $10,000 a year. Outside of this building, paying rent and living on income such as that is very difficult. So you're living in a very deprived neighborhood. You look around and you say, I got to take this dollar and move it here so that I could pay this bill over here because this dollar got to go here. This is a beautiful building. They got so many things going on. There were safety things put into place for my protection. I've had four heart attacks. Knowing that I can reach up and pull a string and someone will come means a lot to me. It's clean. It's clean all the time, not once a month when they mop the holes. It's clean all the time. <laughs> It'll be a little noisy at night, but I don't put a pay it no mind because I just trust that since we got a dorm and they ain't coming in here, you know. It's on the sixth floor. When I stayed in other, like the project was 20. And so that was, you know, 20, you, know, you can't run off 20 flight. You don't know who coming down. You don't know who going up, you know, so. You stuck. When I see this building, I say, I don't care where I'm going to move. I move there because it's, it's, it's beautiful. And they, they give me the four rooms apartment. I say, thank God, can everybody have a, a space in here? And then I go to my room. That's my church. That's my place. I've seen the development of a relationship between a grandchild and the grandparent. I, I've actually seen it go from nothing to a, a great love. Uh, children are able to go home and say, Grandma, this is what I did today, instead of going and closing their door and going into their room and being angry. Grandparents are able to say, what a good job, instead of, you're just like your mother. And that's what they used to say. We have parenting skills classes, but we don't call it that. We call it um, learning to incorporate new ways to raise children. Uh, a parent always feel that, don't tell me I can't parent. So you change the name. You improvise. When he came back in that room, he said, I'm sorry, Grandma, I'll never do we it We made it mandatory that they come to the support group. What would you say is the most challenging um, part in terms of raising these kids? But the hardest thing is one jealous of the other one. They think one get more attention than the other one, but it's not like that. Talking in a round circle and letting everyone know, wow, you're just like me. I don't have to be ashamed that my child wasn't able to raise this child. One thing you know when a child is living with a grandparent is not for a good reason. What we do to help the child understand why their parent isn't raising them, we tell them the story and it has to be the honest and real story. You can't sugarcoat a tragic incident. We keep them as busy as we possibly can, as positive as we possibly can. I'm done. The key to transformation is building the relationship. You have to, you have to get their trust. We have been trying to show them there is another way. They're like, oh, he wants us to be the president of the United States. That's right, I sure do. Told you I'm gonna beat you back sometime. Okay? So just hush and watch. I have high hopes for every child in here. And believe me, we grandparents are going to stand beside them and support them. Whatever they want to do, we're going to see to it that they are able to do it. Whatever they want to become, we're behind them to help them become whatever they want to become. I think grandparents are the most important peoples on this planet to grandchildren.